Cześć! Witam do Krakowia. Or Krakowa. <laughs> so we're here, we've made it to Krakow and the lovely Tam got through it. Got through the old uh, tricky aer airport kind of situation. Security is nice and fast though, which is nice. Because obviously I look quite different to my photo. I look like a convict in my photo. I probably still do actually look like a convict slightly. Wow, look at this. This is all right, isn't it? Wow. Have a guns of that, people. Yeah, Turn very nice. Way. Turn it this way. So, it? I knew this was quite nice. So, from what I know, we've got to go and grab a train to uh, Krakow Central. And we're staying in a hotel called Hotel Europski. Europski. Europeski. So, uh, yeah. We're, uh, we're going to go and find the train station. And then we're going to go and try and try and get to central Krakow uh, and try and get some food as well because it's like well local time it's, quarter to ten. it's about quarter to ten. ten but as far as I'm aware the uh, the restaurants and stuff don't close until about 11 so we still got a little bit of time if we're quick uh, to get there and eat something because we're both quite hungry but yeah okay, we're gonna go and uh, try and purchase a ticket for the tram I think what we will need to do it's gonna take longer than 20 minutes for what we need so we'll do a 60 minute. No, it's going to take longer than 60 minutes. How long is it going to take? No. An hour and 13. Um, let's have a look. Ah, it's lost the language. No. <laughs> let's start it again. Languages. English. Okay, cool. Uh, 20 minute standards, what's complete tick off, uh, um, 24 hours, there we go. So we can still use that tomorrow, can't we? Yeah. Oh, you're going to have to press it for me. What, why is it it's not very responsive, is it? There no. we go. Okay. 24, 24 hour. Hours. Um, let's do zones 1, 2 and 3, because we're in zone 2 currently. So that's 22 Zvoti, I don't know what that is in pounds. But we're not getting the reduced one. Look at, look at that, one. At least I'm making payment to purchase. Okay, cool. Continue. Okay, right, we need number of tickets. Change number of tickets to two. Okay. We're good. Right. Right, on. and then pay with card. Maybe I've got enough of this, so not. I don't think it's that much. I think it'd be like 10 quid. Yeah. There we go, sweet. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll make our travels. Oh, what an interesting start you probably can't see me very well but um, I'm at the, uh, the the station I've just got a bus here obviously because <laughs> um, the train station isn't actually operating currently um, so I think they stop running after a certain period of time but we've met some really cool people already man um, we met a dude from Australia who lives in the UK who is an astronaut and we also met a family who are from the Ukraine and they're going over to Kiev or Kiev Kiev I call it Kiev Kiev to uh, see their family, which is very dangerous, but massive respect. Now, so friendly, and their English is impeccable. Um, and what's really cool, I don't know if you don't know if you have to see this, but I'll try and show you. But the bus is on charge. Look, they're actually charging. They're charging the bus. I've never seen an electrical bus in my life, so it's absolutely crazy. But yeah, quite nice weather. It's like. Close to 11 o'clock currently in uh, in Krakow. Um, so far, so good. Uh, I haven't had to speak much Polish, so I haven't embarrassed myself too many times yet, but the time will come. But one more bus to our hotel, and then we can hopefully go and get some food, fingers crossed. Finally on the bus, heading over to uh, the hotel, and uh, got some cool little, cool little views. Nice uh, Krakow bus which uh, was just on charge, which is so cool. I can't get over the fact that it's an electric, electronic bus. Never seen one in my life. But um, yeah, I think we've got like roughly six stops-ish. Yeah, so, uh, six stops. So until we're into, in, into central Krakow. So uh, yeah, very excited and uh, ready to eat. To be honest, aren't we, Tam? <laughs> All right, we've made it, people. We've made it to whatever this area is called in Poland. What's it called, do you know? 
we're staying here, well we don't know, it's still called Techa Svovakiego, but <laughs> I think <laughs> my pronunciation's probably terrible, but um, yeah, some really cool people we've met already, we're just trying to find our way to it now, we're staying at a place called the Hotel Europeski, Europeski, oh nice, cool, yeah, so uh, yeah, yeah, very, very pretty so far. Look at this, the very nice old buildings. Yeah, man, very excited. And the good thing is actually, we've had, we've checked this place quite a few times on the map. So uh, we've got a bit of a head start actually, because we already kind of know the area because of Google Maps. Because uh, I've been on Google Maps like hundreds of times, just trying to see the area. Um, and uh, yeah. Bloody dark though. Trust me to go down the darkest of areas with a, a phone. I really hope I'm hungry. Yeah, that's the problem. Like it's like eleven o'clock. Like we got here at like half nine, but then the transport and waiting that took its time. But that that's uh, Jabka, and Jabka is 20, 20, 24, 24 hours a day. So uh, there is an option. <laughs> there are options. Uh, where I could test out my terrible, terrible understanding of the lingo. But, um, yeah. So far, so good. What you think, Sam? It was a good little journey. Didn't seem to take too long. Um, nice transportation links as well. Like everything's like quite, quite. It's like on time and stuff. Here we go. So there's our hotel, the hotel Yorebski. Europe, 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 ski, God knows, Europe ski. So, yeah, we're going to have a close look inside. Okay, so here it is, our hotel. You can't see it because it's backwards. Let me try. Let me try switching the camera. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, can't. <laughs> it's called the Hotel Europe ski. How do I show you guys? There you go. You can't see it very well. Unless I do that, does that work? No, how about that? <laughs> That's just me. This is my my lovely mug. <laughs> my ugly mug. Yeah. So uh, let's just raise this a bit. There we go. That's better. <laughs> so your surroundings so far? Pretty. Look at that bad boy. Let's have a have a closer look. So yeah. Very historic already. Um, and quite easy to find actually as well, this place. That's nice. Uh, Galeria Krakowska. Galeria. Galileo. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, love. And that's the tram that we. Well, we didn't get on that tram, but we got an A tram, which is similar. And now we've got this lovely bridge that we can cross and get the first look at Hotel Europeski, Europeski. But yeah, the guys from uh, Ukraine, man. Oh, what lovely guys. They were lovely. So friendly. It was, a, it was a woman and her two kids and they were, they were explaining to us that they, uh, they're they planning live on... They live in Surrey. They live in Surrey, England, but they're going to uh, Kiev to uh, see family. See family. And that bravery. And, then, and we also met an astronomer. Yeah, I mentioned that we met an astronomer, didn't we? An Australian astronomer. He was partially sighted, so we helped him on the bus, or Tammy did. Helped him off the bus. Helped him off the bus to uh, to see to see what you know, what to get to where he needed to be. And, uh, what about now? Let's try. No. Maybe this camera's reversed. I don't have to look into that, people, but yeah. Very, very pretty city. We've seen this quite a few times on uh, Google Maps. So, yeah. Now's the actual, now's the actual, the place itself. So, let's have a look. Oh, wow. 
I'll do a voice over here because uh, there was some copyrighted music. But uh, yeah, really nice hotel. Quite an interesting entrance. Uh, very old school. So yeah, definitely uh, worth visiting. Okay, so the uh, first floor. We have where we're staying. Um, spoke Polish. It went well. He understood me. He knew what I was saying. I didn't sound like a complete poor apparently. Success. Let's go and look at our room. Oh, I'll let you open love. This is 103. 103. Yeah, we're in 103. There we go. So, so this way. Oh, wow. Very nice. Very nice. Look at this. Oh. Old school. Like it. That's what we that's what we're hoping to go for, to be honest. 103. I think I did well. I chose this hotel. I'm quite proud of that. I picked this hotel. <laughs> no, I saw it. You, you confirmed it. 102. Yeah. 103. Jeden zero trea. Trea, something like that, I can't remember. All right, let's get on the action here. Let's see what we got. Okay. Okay, so I turned on the bathroom light successfully, and now I've turned on the bedroom light. So, this is what we've got. Very nice. I like that. That's uh, that's pretty old school. Just how I like it. That's how I rock. In uh, oh, wow. that's how I rock. I do it the old school way. So, got a nice bed there. Going for a kind of Victorian style room, to be honest. Because uh, why not? Um, the mirror, stuff like that. Let's, uh, unload. Let's go and look at the bathroom. Look at the bathroom. And there is the bathroom. Very nice. Hotel Europe. 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 ski. Yeah. Awesome. We're here. Booked in. We're going to enjoy our time. We're going to go and get some food in a minute as well. And, um, one thing you'll notice is that I'll try and cut off the camera when I'm talking to somebody because not everybody wants to be on camera. One thing I've noticed about YouTube is they tend to uh, tend to film people without really asking their permission. Um, if someone sees me streaming, they want to join in, by all means, they can rock with me. But I'd rather respect people and their wishes to be off camera. But um, yeah, he understood English and uh, we spoke and. Went really well breakfast at seven so i'm really excited about that um so yeah we're gonna have a quick slip look around and then yeah we will go and get some food so see you guys shortly just gone through the local central park just came across this nice building here and here and yeah so far so good i got my selfie stick because we've uh we're in a position where Everything needed charging, basically. <laughs> Everything needed charging, but we want you to join us when we get our first look at the town square, because uh, I believe that's where we're going. I hope, who cares? I'm here to drink, I'm here to eat, I'm here to get drunk. Slightly drunk, tipsy. I want to be able to still get into my hotel room. But, never drunk on holiday, believe it or not. I'm not really a drinker. I do apologize for the previous shots as well. I do realize that I was like this to the camera. <laughs> a bit close for comfort for, for many people, I would imagine. But here's Tam, rocking as always. We do apologise for the poor lighting. We are in a quite dark street. Um, no, no, I look probably in the middle of some random place that isn't safe because we do have a habit of doing that. <laughs> strolling into, uh, oh, sorry, strolling into places that aren't safe for us to be at. But I think you might have to end this shortly to find the place but we'll keep walking we will keep walking um let's see what we see it's a nice building that's pretty wow look at that that's, that's an old school vibe in it hey eh? yeah we should have stayed here what's this teta in ulysses val oh good i was gonna get hotel hotel envy if that's a thing getting jealous of other people's hotels we paid good money for ours so you know got to uh got to get the money's worth oh wow get, a, get, a look at that, get a look at that. 
Ah, look at this. Horses and a cart. It's pretty cool. I, I can. I can't do it in the middle of it. Let's get a bit closer. Wow. Dobry wieczór. Very cool. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful city. Really pretty. I didn't know what to expect. I knew Poland was going to be a beautiful, beautiful country. Everyone's so friendly as well. And the English. Everyone's really good at English. They're just surprised when an English person tries to poorly imitate their language, but I think they're grateful. I think there's an element of gratitude there somewhere, but maybe also a little bit of humour in there as well because they're probably thinking, what the fuck, this guy can't even <laughs> string a sentence together. But yeah, party central apparently. We're uh, heading into the real deal. Kishki, that's what we're here for. ATMs and Kishki. Well, if worst comes to worst, I'll go to. Uh, Go to a, just go and grab some beers from a local store. Like that. Go to the express. Go back to the hotel room and get smashed. But anyway, I'm gonna go and find this square. Be right back. I don't quite think we're in the main town square yet. Oh my god, this place is bustling. It's like, okay, there's a shawarma place. That could be a potential. But I want to try some authentic Polish food. Some of the real shit. Just, just, just strolling on the road as I do. I do that often in countries that I don't recognise, I just end up on their roads, strolling around. But yeah. Quite a cool nightlife scene. Look at this. Look at that lamppost. <laughs> just impressed by the lamppost. Yeah. Look at the lamppost. Wow. Travelled all this way for a lamppost. Can't go wrong with a lamppost. <laughs> yeah, this place yeah, is buzzing. I think, um, I think we definitely picked the right place. Oh, yes. Poland. We're not quite in the square yet. No. So, I don't know where it is, but lots of places to drink, so that's good. Got to fill our bellies first, otherwise we'll be sick. Wax Museum? Yes. Look at Mr. Bean. <laughs> oh my god. That is the scariest scary. thing I've ever seen in my life. That is so scary. Ready? You ready for this, people? You ready? That's a thing of your nightmares. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mr. Bean. <laughs> you ever thought he'd make his way to? You ever thought he'd make his way to Krakow? But yeah, man, look at this. Very. It's like a student capital of drinking, and I like that. I'm a little bit old for drinking, but I'm gonna do it, man. I'm gonna give it a royal shot. And where the locals are, that's where the fun is. It's, uh, it's really funny, man. There's more people here from like England. I think it's Poland currently, which is really strange. Um, I saw this bloke from Newcastle coming past, and he was like, "I'm drunk as fuck, me. <laughs> I can't do, I can't do that." It's pretty funny because my dad is from Newcastle, and I can't do their accent at all. Do quite a few accents, but not from Newcastle. Oh yeah, KFC. There you go. Four else fails. We've got KFC, but yeah, oh bloody hell, watch out for the pavements, but bloody hell, but yeah, I like it, coming up to some big building now, sorry love, not getting you, not getting, not giving you the love, <laughs> just leaving you out, you just put your hand over the camera? <laughs> sorry guys, I'm not a professional cameraman, this place looks interesting. What we got? Grilled sausage and a crispy baguette. 29 zvoti. That is a potential. That's a potential. To be honest, I just want a bit of food and have some drink, man. I've never had a drink in Poland. Well, I've never been to Poland, so. Yes. We need a beer. We're hoping to get recommendations from the locals. Um, but we're not. Uh, <laughs> Knowing our look, they'll probably recommend some crazy ass thing. Like, uh, I was uh, recommended some pretty crazy vodka type stuff from some friends. Look at this! 
That's a bit of alright, isn't it, eh? That's a bit of alright. I don't know if you can see that, let me... Yeah, it's nice, man. <laughs> it's good. The English here seems to be better than we expected. Organza shop just here on the right? No, we haven't. Have we? Yeah, we have. Look at that. Representing. Not the last. It says cannabis shop. It says a <laughs> Just fuck it, yeah, just uh, hey, we're a cannabis not, shop. Not that we'd smoke as well, No. <laughs> but you just came out there, guys. But, yeah, I walk down Krakow Central during the party hour. Quite amazing, actually, that I haven't been fucking so, no, photobombed. Considering it's like midnight here, and it is so. Still cool. booming, sorry, guys. I'm not a professional cameraman by any. Yeah. Well, I think I think I think currently it's like 28 degrees or something like that. Here we go. We've made it to the main square. We've done it, people. We've gone, done it. We've made it to the main square. It's dark, man. We do apologise. Should get professional lighting rig, but hey, we're just starting this thing. Look at that, though. Look at that! That hey? gorgeous. That ain't messing about, is it? That's that market, isn't it? Little that market? Nah. That is. That's they don't mess market. about in Poland, do they? My Polish brothers and sisters, respect. You have a beautiful country, guys. Absolutely love it. That is just a indoor market. That Big is respect, awesome. man. Big respect. Yeah. We better get some better footage during the day as you could probably imagine but yeah very interesting interesting architecture interesting people interesting country interesting everything and I bet one of the very few English people that have tried to learn Polish to the degree we have the guys seem quite impressed and happy that we had tried to do that I say especially that Ukrainian woman because she could understand she could understand me yeah I was trying to speak Polish, to teach the kids Polish that she was with so they could get by here. And she's like, yeah, we understand a bit. <laughs> we understand what you're saying. I was like, yes! Pronunciation isn't as, bo as bad as I thought. Look at this. Our first time in Krakow Central. Look at that, man. And that as well. This place is banging. Love it. Yeah, we'll get some real shots during the day. This is more of a nighttime thing. Probably cut out a lot of those darker shots, to be honest. But, yeah. Strolling in the breeze. So many drunk people, it's brilliant. It's so funny. I'm looking forward to meeting some characters here, actually. Um, Do you know what this reminds me of? What's that? I love Prague. It has got a Prague vibe, yeah. yeah. Similar vibe to Prague, definitely. But yeah, we're gonna go have a closer look find some food and get some drink catch you shortly people okay people we've procured food and we uh, met a very lovely lady um, she uh, she spoke some English but it was a lot of pointing and uh, but yeah it was awesome she was really friendly and really helpful but we got uh, what did we get we got a Zapia Kanka so that's the first time it's like a Polish pizza um, and we got like sausage and gherkins and mayonnaise and cheese and oh I can't wait bruv it's gonna be amazing so we're gonna dive right in. Tam, do you wanna dive in first, love, and give us your thoughts, love? Okay, don't get me on camera. Though. I don't I won't get I won't get you I won't film you eating, don't you worry. How is it? She's walking away with it, look, look. Can you believe this? She's 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 just bailing with my pizza. So it was um 25 Polish zwoty. Do you have no idea how much that was? 25 Polish about zwoty. Four, about four quid. Yeah, about four quid. For that. Four quid? For that, people, look at that! Look, look! You got the mayonnaise, you got Highland the, cheese, you've got the cheese. <sighs> Honestly, what, what do you think? Is it good? I won't, I won't, I won't film we're eating. I, I'm not allowed in here apparently, but I'm gonna go and try and nick some just from here. Look, right? Let's have a look. Oh, it's got some mush mushrooms as well. Just be careful because you're gonna look like you're gonna drop it. All right. <laughs> oh. Oh god, awful of me. Wow. Mmm. That's incredible people. Proper street food that is. Really nice. 
just goes to show in the central square you can get a good deal if you try but yeah i better go because uh if i don't she's gonna nick all this pizza from me and i can't allow that i must uh i must catch up with her that was uh that was some good that was some good pizza or shapia kanka as it's called but tammy luckily spotted some uh someone looking a bit shifty as i was filming there was someone coming from behind me you might have even seen him on the camera and um kind of circling hovering around me a little bit you know what i mean like and i've seen quite a few people down this uh, particular street doing that so i don't know if they're like begging or like accosting people for money and tourists and stuff there's a lot of tourists here but it was quite creepy and tammy spotted him and she was like this way bob we need to go this way um we just finished the sapia kanka really nice really meaty the meat was quite cold i guess yeah well um but it was really nice. Four quid, four, 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 the cheese won't melt, that's fine. It's four quid, you know what I mean? You can't go wrong. She didn't speak the best of English, but she, she really did try her best. And she was really friendly and helpful. Um, and yeah, we're in a beautiful town square at night. You know, what a place to be. But yeah, you've just got, wherever you go, you've got to be on your guard, I guess. You've got to be careful. But um, we're gonna go and find some place to drink. Hopefully just a bit of food because it was half a pizza that we shared with each other. It's not the most filling, but hey, if it has to do, it has to do, Tam. I want a bit more, but you know, I don't know how many Definitely places. Like that, 24 /7. There's a 24/7 place, yeah. We'll have to go to. Definitely right near the hotel. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, we're just going to be cautious walking back to the hotel because there's quite a few dark areas and stuff. And we've got to walk through this park where there was loads of youth and stuff. But hey, look, it's about experience. It's about doing new stuff. It's about trying new things. And hey, we always end up in this situation, don't we? Where we like end up like stuck with some people doing something weird or us mm. end up in a weird always every time no matter where we are. but it makes for interesting footage i guess it's better than us just walking around being bored you know boring so it's a good start but anyway hope you're well people and uh yeah we're gonna go and try and find some beer and i think it's starting to rain so we better go and get some cover as well brings me to poland and where does she bring me she brings me to mcdonald's it didn't take a long did it <laughs> no you like it you like polish food don't you love but it's nice, nice, convenient. She's hungry, and we don't want a hungry wife on our hands. And as, yeah, this looks slightly different as well. It's like a garlic mayonnaise dip. There's some crinkle cut fries. There's the, the maestro bacon cheeseburger. Bang that bad boy open. See what it's saying. Don't think we've had one of them in the UK. So we'll give it a shot. Yeah, I was just saying about the crinkle cut fries. Yeah, so awesome. We got a beer. We've done it. We got our hands on a. Baba, Baba, and uh, fully understood my Polish as well. So let's give this a shot. <sighs> oh wow! Okay, so first night out in Krakow, uh, we had a beer, we had some Shapia Kanka, and a McDonald's. McDonald's of all things. Oh, could have gone KFC. Could have gone KFC, yeah, but we didn't. <laughs> Thank God. Um, but yeah, good, good so far. First, first place, first, first time here. I've enjoyed it. This uh, Beirut Shrama does look quite nice, doesn't it? <laughs> it looks banging. I'll have to go and check that out tomorrow. But uh, yeah, it's been a good evening. So uh, we'll get back in the hotel and uh, kind of give our final thoughts for the day. And then, uh, yeah. We'll get you tuned in for day two of our time in Krakow. Well, tomorrow is uh, Oshvienchim, which will be quite interesting. So we're there for the day. And uh, yeah, we're quite looking forward to seeing a different slice of Poland. So we'll hope you join us. Take care. Okay, so that's, the, that's day one in Krakow done. I say day one. We've been here for, let's see now. About three hours, maybe. And uh, we got here about half nine. Yeah, about three and a half hours. So in that three and a half hours, we've explored our hotel room. We've explored some of central Krakow. Had a beer, a power, which is very nice. Shapia uh, Kanka, or Zapi Kaneka, Zapi Kanka, I don't know how it's pronounced. Um, a McDonald's. Why not? <laughs> um, and met some interesting, very interesting people actually. You've got the uh, 
astrologer, who I claim to be an astronaut earlier. It's not an astronaut, it's an astrologer. Watching my footage back like, oh no, that's not quite correct. <laughs> um, and the wife is getting a bit of shut eye, bless her, don't blame her. It's been a very, very long day. Um, as you could probably tell, I'm due to crack, uh, crack off, crack off, <laughs> due to clock off shortly. Um, and enjoy tomorrow's breakfast and whatnot. But um, yeah, day one's been brilliant. I think I've really enjoyed it. The, the, the flight was fine. I think um, it took, I think about two hours and it flew by. I had my Nintendo Switch with me. I was playing that. Um, and it was, yeah, nice weather touching down. Loads of friendly people. Um, not a huge language barrier, you know, a lot of people understand English. I mean, that may change when we go tomorrow. We're going to Ostfienchen tomorrow, or Auschwitz, as is known in Germany. Uh, was, was, as it was known in German. Um, but we're going to the town of Ostfienchen to go to, um, to, go to, to Auschwitz. So that should be quite a harrowing experience. Um, and yeah, um, it's just generally been a really, really nice start. Uh, the Shapia Kanka was really nice. Um, it was really meaty, um, nice, nice crispiness. Uh, four pound. It was quite interesting actually because it turned out that I'd uh, not transferred the money over, so I was minus seven pound in debt <laughs> for a few for a for about half an hour, and then I kind of sat there in McDonald's. I was like, oh, I think I had transferred the money over. But yeah, McDonald's was good. It was very interesting. That burger was really strange. It was like a smoked cheese burger with like a, like it's quite a spicy sauce really. Not mind-blowingly spicy, but it had a kick. It was like a spicy mayonnaise. And then it had like, a, the beef was really interesting. It had a really interesting seasoning in it. It was like almost, there was some sort, there was some sort of seasoning going on. Maybe caraway or dill. There was something interesting going on in there. It was like very unique. And obviously the beef, maybe perhaps being Polish sauce beef, I'm assuming, uh, was, was slightly different. And the Coke as well. The Coke was different. I always find coke is different in different countries like i had coke in greece recently and that was different to the coke that we have in the uk but then i guess the sugar regulations differ um the uh the crinkle cut fries yeah nicely they were crinkle cut fries you can't go wrong um and the garlic mayo dip that was really nice they should introduce that to the uk it's amazing the mcdonald's don't get together and go wow like you know they might like that over over in england you know, they should they should do that um, yeah, it was obviously as much as there was interesting people, there was also a few kind of, a few wrong -uns. A lot of people just hanging around, just standing there, looking like they wanted to come and ask you something. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, maybe, maybe they were targeting single men and they probably saw that I was with my wife. And they were like, mm, ah, he won't be, he won't be worth the hassle. We would see a lot of women kind of just hanging around as if they wanted to kind of, there's a scam in, in Hungary where uh, a woman will come up to you, a beautiful woman will come up to you and she'll be like, hey, hey, take me to a bar. And obviously, you know, a guy looking like this, if you've got a model coming up to him offering to go to a bar, there's something a bit strange about that. A lot of guys do fall for that trick, but obviously the woman will take the guy to the bar and she will send him to the most expensive bar, extortionate prices. And I've heard stories where these guys have spent like, 600 to 800 euros so yeah be careful of that one if you're a single man out and about um I hope, so i do apologize if you can hear some uh noise in the background that's my air conditioning i had to get it on it is so humid in poland not as bad as england the, the humidity in england is worse but it's still quite humid in poland but um tomorrow we plan to get up and try the breakfast we'll uh, document that um for day two but yeah this has been day one we've really we've enjoyed our, our our stay so far um it's been nice to be out there in in the uh in the open with, with all the tourists and stuff we're not into the touristy stuff as much and we're certainly not a fan of the touristy prices but um yeah <sighs> sometimes you know if you if you arrive late to a city you've got to do what you've got to do but yeah so far so good Big respect to the people of Poland uh, for their level of English. Very impressive, um, very friendly, very caring, very hospitable people. Um, couldn't, couldn't be happy enough. I've really enjoyed my time getting to know people from this area. So uh, that'll be us today for the first day. 
really appreciate you watching this video. Hope you have a great day. Um, and wherever you are, whatever you're doing, live life to the fullest. Whatever you want to do, make it come true. It was only a, you know, it was only a few years ago that I was I was homeless and stuff myself. I don't want to turn into a kind of a weird vlog or anything, but it was you know I myself was uh, homeless. And I was living on my sister's couch. I used to dream about travelling. To be honest, it's it's doable. It really is doable. It's cheap if you if you do it on the cheap and you just you do things carefully. You can travel and do whatever you want, you know. So if you're watching this and you wanted to do it, just get out there and do it. If you want to vlog, just vlog. Don't worry about what people think. If people laugh or people look at you, think you're strange. <sighs> They're gonna see you once in your life, and that's it, you know. But these memories, these videos, this is what it's all about: sharing it with people and and sharing the love and and, and showing and showing the real side of of Krakow and and what it's all about. A lot of people just focus on the food. I want to focus on all the things. So. Uh, Motivational speech over. Hope you guys have a great day. Hope you have a wonderful week. And thank you so much for tuning in to Team McGrath on our first full trip to uh, or our first our half first our first experience of Krakow. It's been wonderful. Take care, people, and see you soon.